People often ask me questions like, can I pray to the Holy Spirit? Can I worship the Holy Spirit? And while I understand biblical truths concerning prayer and worship, while I understand that we are taught to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus, I want to address this idea that the Holy Spirit is somehow less divine than the Father and the Son. No believer doubts the deity of the Father. No true believer doubts the deity of the Son. Otherwise, they wouldn't be a true believer. If there is any doubt raised concerning divinity, that doubt seems to most often be aimed at the Holy Spirit. So I wanna show you as simply and concisely as possible that the Bible most certainly reveals the Holy Spirit as God. Firstly, the Holy Spirit is omnipresent. I can never escape your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. That's Psalm chapter 139, verse seven. Secondly, we see that the Holy Spirit is omnipotent. In Luke's gospel, the power of the Holy Spirit is the very same as the power of the Most High. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. That's Luke chapter one, verse 35. Thirdly, we see that the Holy Spirit is omniscient. He searches the mind of God and knows the mind of God. Therefore, he knows everything God knows. Thus, he is all knowing. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit, for his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit, and no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 10 through 12. Finally, the Holy Spirit is eternal. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our consciences from sinful deeds so that we can worship the living God. For by the power of the eternal Spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. That's Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. Who else but God is omnipresent? omnipotent, omniscient, and eternal. Clearly, the Holy Spirit is God. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your moment of truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.